Last time I filmed a video, it was hot outside. It is again hot outside today. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Welcome to Fosal King. We are back with another video. This time, it's going to be a little bit more education. This is tight matchups for dummies like yourself. Ooh. Just kidding. This is how I make sense of tight matchups in my head. Fire, grass, and water together. The Fire Nation attack. Let's cut to the demonstration. Remember, do not try any of this at home. Beginning with three types, fire, grass, and water. I have chosen a candle, a plant, and a jar of water to represent each type. Imagine that each of these items are a Pokemon. Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. So the first thing we're going to talk about today, this is what I like to call scissors, paper, rock. You apply that same thinking to type matchups. So we've got the water type, grass type, fire type. What does water do? You got your Squirtle versus your Charmander. Then you got your Charmander versus your Squirtle. You crank the heat as much as you want. Nothing's going on. Water beats fire. So what happens when you use water on a grass type? Voila. Water is super effective against fire, where it's not very effective against grass. Okay, so what about grass versus the other two? When grass meets water, it grows. When grass meets fire, about fire versus grass. Grass type's not really having a good time, is it? And same as before, water versus fire, nothing. So hopefully that kind of demonstrates why certain types resist others, whereas others are super effective. Don't worry, no plants were harmed in the making of this video as this was a dead plant. I've got the alive one right over here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you want more information about type matchups, let me know in the comments. I'll do some more videos about them. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Foes looking out, baby. <laughs>